I do not work with a script. Um, I want this to be my true week re- week review of the Xbox series. Um, I do not want it to. I don't want to tell you. You have to buy an Xbox. I am in no way connected to the company, Microsoft. They didn't hire me to do this. I'm going to say my candid but cheeky point of view. That is it. Thank you for coming here. I wanted the PS5, I would say for uh, about a year now. I wanted it for about a year. Um, I never got it. When I went to go purchase the PS5, for me to get it where I live, it would have been about between $1,100 and $1,600. I had been on PlayStation for about three years. I had an Xbox before then. And I bit into the narrative in the mind that PS5 or PlayStation was just the better system and that's just the way it was. It was the designer of consoles. It was the Jordan of consoles. It was the good stuff. But time passed and this crisis that we're having, it never turned up for me to be able to get one unless I was going to have to bend to the will of the scalpers and the people who purchased all of them and it was just going to be what it was. I didn't do that. I went and bought a Xbox S series. It, ouch. It got down to availability. And I will say that I believe I made the perfect choice. And you should do. Right off the bat, I am a streamer. I do stream on Twitch. Um, I have a gaming PC. I have a Logi stream to stream with. I can stream from there. But I just thought it would be so much better to stream through the consoles, just less headache. And it's it's uncouth. It's it's not popular to even have an overlay these days. But with the stream, with this, you can get an overlay. I haven't done it yet, but you can't do it. Also, it allowed me to stream with my Logic Cam. I didn't have to buy a proprietary one. I can use my old controller. And this controller, when it runs out of batteries, which it will do fairly quickly, I just plugged in a random uh, USB-C and it works just fine with no battery power. I got to play Halo, which I haven't played in years because I had went over to the regime. I went over to a whole nother uh, 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 dimension. I was so happy to do that. Halo Infinity, very good. Mavia, it was very good. It's compact. I'm just going to go ahead on with the direct review. Like I said, I, there's no script. There is no script. Um, it's compact. sits perfectly on my desk. It feels almost like a, a um, like they cut it down to exactly what it needed. I'm a streamer. I can't play 4K on all the uh, titles here, but I can't stream 4K on Twitch. So who cares? That's what I'm thinking in my mind. Who cares? Um, what else made it stick out? Um, the minimalist design. It almost looks like an a, a Kia piece. It's just straight square, straight to the point. Um, the way it handles the games coming from PS4 and then jumping back on Warzone, there is a difference. It's a little bit smoother. Uh, it can handle Warzone in, the, like I think it's 140 PS, uh, FPS, something like that. Don't fact check me on that. I don't really know. I'm happy with it. I'm more than happy. I'm um, I am almost I'm giddy that I didn't fall for it. 
because I almost just paid the eleven hundred dollars. I almost just paid the eleven hundred bucks. That hype, I almost paid it, man. Two fifty to two sixty, two fifty to two eighty. I'm happy with it. Now, in the future, I may own them both because since I was a kid, uh, me and my stepfather, we always owned both the systems. Back then, it was Sega Genesis and um, Nintendo. And then when PlayStation came, then people had three systems. You know, systems weren't as expensive as they are now. But then again, with inflation, it could have been the same price. We know what you're going to do. But I, uh, with this one, I started off with the, with the Xbox. I'm not a fanboy of either. But this is a great bargain for a next gen system even though i looked on there i didn't see that you could play um i didn't see that you can play um the new gta on it it said x only that's going to be a whole drama i don't know someone comment at the bottom but my review of it is i am ecstatically satisfied i'm ecstatically satisfied I think what the scalpers did with 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 uh, making the PS5 up to fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars, they should be ashamed of themselves. For the kids that's waiting around trying to get one, and you up it to that price, it's disgusting. It's a very uh like that. It's a it's a, it's a very pharma boys type thing to do. So um uh, a system that is four ninety nine is is going for fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars. They should be ashamed of themselves. And and uh, I like the fact that Microsoft put the more money forth for us to be able to have the system. I love that. That means they were thinking about their customers, actually. I don't know what's going on at Sony, but they just weren't able to to get that done. And I wasn't really willing to wait. I'm so happy with it. Uh, next week, I'm thinking I'm going to buy my old lady one, too. She's still on the PS4. You know how women are. It's just like, eh, game's a game. But I'm going to get my old lady one, uh, too, as well. The streaming capabilities of this it, I mean, it, you can a person with a budget can upgrade their Twitch stream to 1080p, dude. That's amazing. That's amazing. Now I can do 1060 on my computer, but then since I'm a console gamer, I have to freaking run the Elgato's, which I do have. I have them. They're here. You know, I got the stream cam, so I can use my big camera on it. I'm using a Sony Z50. Look it up. Know what it is? Flex. Um, and I, I can do that. But I got to the point where why then i start going through people's pages and i start realizing they're streaming on a console bro everybody isn't streaming on a computer setup the growth on twitch is not aggressive enough for you to spend that kind of money on that you could build i believe you could build a whole streaming community with tiktok and this console and a webcam i believe that it's minimalistic it's clear. Go. My my gaming computer is good enough, but it is, I guess it's just quite not good enough to run Call of Duty without messing up, let alone run it and stream it. So I'm happy with it. And I wanted you to get an honest, candid, not scripted explanation to if you should buy this for your kid if you should buy this for your mate, if you buy it for yourself, is it worth it, dude? It's underpriced. I would have paid $4.99 for it. Like if there was no X and this just can't, I, I would have still got it. It's underpriced for what you get. Now, if it comes out of a certain game, but I may buy an X, I may buy all three. Who knows? But it got me into the new gen situation, and I'm happy with it. And I feel like you would be happy with it, too. Now, if you're stuck on a designer, and that's the one that's hard to get, so that's the one that everybody wants, two things you need to do. Mature, grow up, and think about your finances, man. You have no reason to spend that kind of money when this alternative is here, and it does just fine. Xbox has been around for a long time. It's not some fringe system. I'm happy with it. And I believe you will be happy with it too. I really do. Don't do drugs. Be happy. And thank you for coming to the channel. Make sure you come on Twitch and follow us where I do the gameplay almost every day when I get the chance. Don't do drugs. Yeah.